Hi, uh, my name is Craig Altman, and uh, I'm the operations manager here at Brayside Camp in Middletown, New York. Uh, Brayside Camp is a historic camp, has been here for over 100 years, since uh, 1897. Uh, it started uh, with a couple who um, was from Scotland, and they uh, came overseas because they had a son that died of tuberculosis. Uh, and they thought that they'd get a uh, camp and uh, find a nice area where they would uh, have children come for a convalescent time where they would uh, heal and their lungs would clear. Unfortunately, they passed away from the disease of tuberculosis uh, in the late uh, 1920s. And um, at that time, the camp uh, took over uh, as a uh, camp uh, that was run by the county for um, the purpose of children who were disadvantaged and uh, had some hardships in the county uh, would come to camp and uh, enjoy uh, an experience in the outdoors and all the learning and education and uh, experiences that go along with an overnight camp uh, that they would come here at no cost to their family. Uh, the camp has been running uh, as such since uh, the 1930s and uh, I took over as the camp director uh, back in uh, 2007. Uh, Things have gotten better here every year since I've been here, and uh, it really is a collaborative effort with the county and the community. Uh, people come out uh, and do most of the service, and the work that needs to be done here in the camp are, uh, is done by um, service organizations, and uh, the benevolent people of the county um, come in, and uh, a big part of my job is to network those people, have them come in, and, uh, and get the work done that needs to get done. So. Um, so the kids can come here and uh, have a carefree two weeks of camp and uh, be involved in uh, swim instruction and uh, nature education, uh, arts and crafts and athletics programs. We do a drama uh, group. We have theater groups. Uh, kids are doing yoga. Uh, we have uh, the fire department comes in and does uh, activities with the kids, showing them the trucks and uh, how they fight fires. We have policemen come in with their canine dogs and uh, interact with the kids in a real positive way, which is very important uh, in today's climate. Um, the kids, uh, you know, learn all kinds of social, uh, emotional skills that they may not really be able to uh, uh, develop in, uh, in a structured and uh, pressured school situation. Uh, so they're here kind of in, in, in a little bit of a carefree environment and so they're really able to learn a lot of the, the things that they need to, to learn uh, in their interpersonal skills with others and um, of course about the, the local nature and conservation and the environment and just all the things that a camp uh, teaches kids. So, uh, so it's just a great opportunity um, been for myself uh, and uh, my cat of course. Um, to, uh, to be here and just be a part of something that's really special um, uh, for the last uh, coming on nine years.